viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Inside Geography with Saad Bahujo. It is really important for us to understand the map exclusively and completely. Uh, Sometimes it, 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 it becomes uh, difficult for the common people uh, to understand what is being shown in the map or what is being described in the map or what is being drawn in the map. So maps, uh, they contain variety, variety of knowledge, they, are, they contain variety of features. So, uh, it becomes so compulsory for the reader or, or for the common person or the people who have been you know, reading those maps to understand that map completely. And uh, when, you, when you are looking at the map, uh, when you see, when you are seeing, seeing the map, uh, you see certain, certain things at the corner, either at the, at the, at the bottom, uh, any, any part of the bottom of, of, of the map, uh, that that box contains something or some some information. So we call that box, we call that corner a key, a key of the map. So that key contains the information which we are be looking for. So that key has has information which is being given in the in the map or for which the map is being uh, drawn. So that jo, key is very important because that key contains everything about that map. So usko samajna hamare liye bahut hi important hai. Agar hum usko nahi samaj paenge, it means we are being what is a losing some sort of information. So in today's lecture, we will discuss uh, th about that key. We will see uh, what are the details of that key and how that key is being arranged and what that key contains or what information they have. So let's start uh, the you know details of uh, that key which is very important for the people. So a map key is a code to understand and illustrate the map. The map key contains fundamental information of the map for which it has been designed or the map. So especially that key is a code. Certainly so like when you are been unlocking something, it's, it's a code, a special code, which you know, take you to the, to, to the map. So it, especially like a key when you are when you have your door is open or has been locked and you you know open that that door that door and you go inside the uh, inside the house and you have a full view of that house. So similar map key is containing the fundamental information about the map which is being designed uh, for the certain information. A map key is sometimes also called a legend. In other words, uh, sometimes it's been also been parallelly used as a legend. Legends or map keys are symbols, colors, or line to represent the important place. So these legends or key, uh, they are being represented, are being given the different symbols, uh, different symbols, colors, or the line which are being showing the places, features, or characteristic or landmark of the of that map. So if you have been looking here, so this is the key of this map, which is being showing the different or giving the information of the different characteristic of the of the map. So we'll, we'll go in detail of this, uh, this key. So the map key often having a box shape is located at the bottom left or right of the map. So either that key, which is this is the key you are being looking at, uh, either it's been given at the right side or the left side, but, still, but most of the time at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the map. Uh, that key contains symbols. As, as, I, as I told you before, it contains the symbol of variety of forms of the shape, and it's also these symbols are being repainted with the help of the with the help of the color. So we will discuss what those symbols are. Symbols are small pictures or images that stand for different features on, on a map. So actually these symbols are the pictures or the images which are stand for, which have been standing for, or which have been repeating to the features which are being given or the characters which are being given at the map. So map pe jo jitni cheeze maujood hoti hain, unko similarly symbol ke Root may the Kayajata represent Kiajata. Most probably, the other Koshis Kijati, those symbols should be in a similar shape, what the shape the natural thing contains. Ke the other Koshis Kijati, a Vojo features, Vojo characteristic, Jo Jo Mepe Diege, Jinki, Vo natural 
फिगर है नेचुरल शेप है उसी शेप को लेके हम सिंबल एज अ सिंबल यूज करते हैं सो यूजुअली सिंबल इज ड्रॉन टू लुक लाइक सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ फीचर फॉर एग्जांपल अ ट्रायंगुलर शेप इज ऑफन यूज टू डिनोट अ माउंटेन so if you have a feature if we have a mountains we are we repeating mountains similar in a triangular shape because it's been giving you a uh, same uh, uh, you know feeling or uh, feeling of the mountain so a desert a desert is often demonstrated by group dots similar to the same so deserts are been repeated with the help of or by the by the dots and those dots are being shaped or been drawn similar Uh, the what do you say the sand we have because mostly deserts are being based on the sands now not all all um, uh, deserts are uh, formed of the sand but most of the deserts uh, so they have a that so a forest a forest is represented by the shape of the trees you know the forest they contain the trees so the shape of the trees are being given as a symbol in the key to represent the a uh, tree on the map so all the symbol for a map are arranged and grouped together in a key for a references so for our references for the understanding those all shapes those all symbol they are being given and arranged grouped together in a series uh, in a key which is called the map key and that map key is covered with the with the line or with the box or uh, sometimes the symbols are just displayed in a more free manner without a box line so what happens here it is not compulsory that all the symbols are being given in the key ke jo humne aapko key batayi ke all the symbols which are being given should be given here but sometimes what happens these symbols are being given even on the map so if you something like here the, you you just put uh, these free these these symbol on the map and people can easily understand that but it's also been depend on those symbols some symbols some symbols they are so popular because when you are giving the like if you take example of the tree so tree if you are showing the tree the people can understand okay if you are putting the tree somewhere on the map people can easily understand it's it's a, it's a forest or vegetation or the tree similar like so if the if the symbol is quite complex so that been given in the key so it depends some sometimes it's been said that that these key uh, these symbols are free they are being given on the map also anywhere or any part of the uh, so colors are also been used to make map symbols more clear and easier to understand the features on the map so sometime what happens you are not only giving giving the map uh, the symbols but you are what are you, you are doing going to do you are also being giving the colors putting some colors on on those symbol to make it more easier and clearer for the for the reader so for example uh, we have a we have a green we we have a vegetation so we show that vegetation vegetation with the green color now we are coming the types of symbol there are three types of symbols uh, we have a point symbols point symbols they are being showing or uh, representing the buildings dipping stanks uh, uh, trigonometrical beacons and then we have a line symbol line symbol shows railways roads power lines telephones and lines telephone lines so similar like a linear shape linear shapes are being shown with the line symbol then we have a area symbol area symbol uh, they are mostly being shown with the area uh, they are like cultivation orchards one yard so, so you can see here these are the point symbol point symbol they are being also been showing uh, describing the similar shape what we have so that that to so, wohi jo shape hai jo jo cheez aapko dikhai jo cheez aapko batai ja rahi hai usi ka shape diya jata hai with the help of points so you you can see here we have a we have a tree we have a dead tree we have a spring we have a house with this symbol and we have a tower tower have been shown with the symbol and if you talk about the color uh, the you know the live tree or you know the tree is being given with the green uh, green color and the dead tree is given with the brown color similar in line similarly we have a line uh, symbol line symbol we have a national borders international borders and we have our also road road or transported networks in the form of rail in the form of uh, what is say the uh, you know the road and we have also the different you know even if the diff we have a different types of the road so these roads are been also been repeated with the different shapes 
similar the train we have so like national borders uh, the national borders what we have international borders they have a thick lines and thick shades those are lines we are being giving there so they have a more thicker uh, size uh, if we are being showing the national lines they are more smaller are the similar head area so area you have been showing here like you have a gravel you have a sand or orchard or anything you are being showing so they have been showed with the with the color of land and the water so you can also see here these are the point symbols these are the linear symbols and these are the aerial symbols so aerial symbols are always been filled with some sort of the shapes we will also illustrate further so you can see more Feature. So like here we have example on the mountains. So these mountains are being shown something like in this way. So you can easily understand there were, there were peaks, steep peaks are latitudinal features. <clears throat> then we have a river. River has been shown in this way. Then we have a forest. So you can see the, you know, the shape of the trees. Then, then we have a soft land. Then we have beaches and beaches we have a a smaller dots which are being depending the sand then we have a groove they have a curve so these are the different you know the lake they are different so here again they have mountains they have a highest elevation is being putting by the plus and then we have a river there's the capital city and town so for example if you are being looking at a political map or any map of any country or city or the town or the states you can see easily a, the the capital city is being represented with the help of bigger dot bigger circular dot with with a star a star on it and the city we have a dot which is filled with the with, with some sort of shade and then we have a town so it has been you know describe the different size of uh, those <clears throat> Area. So then we have a highway. This is a railroad. You, you know, the showing the similar like a shape the rail track we have. Then we have an airport. Then we have a national park, which is in a circular form, and they've been fenced with the uh, with the lines of a uh, space line. So, uh, so these are some these are some popular uh, what I say uh, you know shapes or symbol which are being given given on the map. If we don't give the shapes. Or symbols on on the on the what you say on the map, it become very difficult for us to you know read whole information or understand whole information. For example, if we are not giving these symbols on the map and we are writing uh, in the form of text, you know it is being difficult for us to reprint everything. If you are being talking about mountain, the forest, the river, so you will have, you will have to write lots of context, lot, lots of text. And that text will take takes a lots of uh, space or place on the map. So uh, it it become difficult for the reader to understand not only and also been difficult for the for the map maker for the carto cartographer to draw that map. We have a, a more map symbols like you can see. Uh, you know, this is a private college. Private college being represented in this way. Then we have a public college. We have an express post. We have a forest station. Map. We have a golf course. You can see we have a guide hall. We have a hospital. Hospitals are being represented in this way. We have a hotel. We have information center. This eyes being uh, so. We have a kindergarten school. We have a landmarks library. Uh, and we have also parks, you know, camping area. Uh, you have a bus stop uh, in bus stop being depending on the map in this way, in this shape. We have bowling club. We have a boat camp. We have a boat fueling point. You know, where you you can easily get the petrol and oil. Uh, these are to be called the power stations. We have a cycleway. We have barbecue, you know, place. Uh, we have ambulance stations, airports. So there are lots of symbols which are being popular. If we just look at those uh, symbols, you can easily understand that what is being depending. So there's a police station also here, post office. You can see toilets, telephone, taxi stand, swimming pool, shopping centers, service stations, scout hall. So there are lots of symbols are being. Uh, then we have a color codes because as I told you, not only we are being, you know, depending the, those features with the help of symbols, but sometimes we use the colors to make it more easier or the simpler. So brown color, 
brown color is representing the land area or land features such as contour lines, eroded area, prominent rock outcrops, sand area, sand dunes, second year gravel. So when we have a roads, barren land, mountains, or your, your uh, what is it, physiographic land areas, uh, it has been shown with the color of the brown. So brown depending the land area, earth features. <clears throat> then we have a light blue color, light blue color represented the canals, uh, means it's been representing the water, water bodies. So we have a canal, we have furrows, we have siphons, we have coastlines, we have dams, marsh, swamp, uh, rivers, uh, you know, streams. So light colors being usually been representing the water. Then we have a dark blue, dark color. So light blue, then we're dark blue. In dark blue, you have been representing the national freeway. So then we have a green. Green colors being showing the vegetation features, the crop area, the grasses. Uh, so different different form of the vegetation are like cultivated fields, golf course, nature and game reserve boundaries, orchards, wine yards, recreation grounds, and woodlands. And then we have a black color. Black color is being using for the construction features. So somewhere there's a construction is going on. The black black color shows are representing the figure. So we have a roads, we have a tracks, we have a railways, buildings, bridges, cemeteries, communication towers, dam walls, uh, excavations and mine dumps, telephone lines, power lines, wind pumps, wreck room, ruins, and the, the different boundaries they are being shown with the uh, with the help of uh, black colors. Then we have a gray color. Uh, the gray color uh, and also been showing the construction features like build up areas, industrial information. Then we have a red color. Red color has also been showing the construction features like national, uh, RTHL and main roads, lighthouse, marine lights. So there are different colors we are using the different. Then we have a last, the pink color. Pink color is represented in the international boundaries because every political entity they have a boundary so those boundaries uh, they have a not only they have an internal boundary they have also international boundaries outer boundaries international boundaries which are being touching the corner of other countries other states so those boundary, uh, boundaries are been represented with the help of uh, pink color and also similar because these are the linear shapes and they that uh, you know pink color should be in a darker shades and there's a more and more thickness or size of that li line so it was all about uh, you know the uh, the key map key which is very important for the for the common people to understand uh, because if you don't have a key then that uh, uh, that information will not be clear and the map will be so confusing for the common person for the reader. So it was all about the Kia map. Uh, so if you like my you know, videos, please subscribe them. I also share with your friends for more videos in future. So I'll continue uh, making more videos on the different type topics, not only geography, but the different topics of uh, the academic subject which are being taught in the universities. So till then, take care of yourself. Thank you so much.